What's up, everyone? This is Doc Perry seventy seven right here, and welcome back to another video. Um, today we gotta be. I'm gonna be showing you how to install CNA. Um, it's unofficial, but it's cool for vibrant for your Samsung Galaxy S. And right here, let's go. First, download the Atenium backup, backup all your stuff you want, all the stuff you want. Download Astro File Manager, backup the apps. There, right now, click on reboot. Then recovery, go ahead to recovery mode. You need to come from a JB ROM, a jelly bean ROM, or ice cream sandwich ROM. If you don't know how to upgrade your phone to ice cream sandwich, you can check out my other video for how to up upload, update your phone to ice cream sandwich. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, which will take over half an hour. I'm just gonna show you the short thing, okay? So, right here, all you need to do go. You need a factory reset, okay? You need, okay? Um, I'm trying to make the camera right here. So wipe data factory reset. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I just did it. Yeah, boy. Got a problem? Okay, right now. It's gonna be deleting my data. Bye bye. <laughs> Let me see all. Okay, now it's gonna delete it, and it's complete. Now I go to advanced. Put wipe down with cachet. Wipe Delvic Shea. Okay. And now go to go to um wipe cachet partition. It's okay, just wipe it. So you wipe cachet partition, you write many things. Now go to install zip from SD to the first one which is zip from SD. And then where did I put it? Oh man. Oh there it is. Code name Android three point six point five vibrant unofficial does it. Okay, let's go ahead and install this. Now install it. It's gonna be installing right now. Man, I miss Aroma installer in Chimera. <laughs> it was so cool, like it gives you advanced stuff. It gives you like Chimera got lots of cool features, man. I wish I wish I just love Chimera. Now it's installing it. Hold on, let me see. Oh, that is okay. Right, right here. Is it so cool? What about doing it like this? Yeah, that's cool. That's better. Cause like I put it a little bit dark right here. It's just too bright. Sorry about that. But the CWM recovery is just too bright. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss this phone when I get a Galaxy Nexus 2. So install complete complete from SD, okay? So right now you gotta install the what was it again? The Gaps Google Apps, okay? I already have them right here. Gaps JB. Uh, I'll post it in the description so install the gaps so you could get go the Google Apps. Um, this is a JB ROM, okay? Well, wow, this looks cool. When I turn it like that, it just goes dark. When I turn it like that, it goes so light. So it's installing it. So right now it's recommended. Go ahead and go to advanced, put white delve cache. We don't have cache yet, but just wipe it. And try and fix permissions. Right now reboot the system. Love doing this at night. When you're at night and then you go like that, it just feels it looks so good. Oh, cool. Oh, this will look good at night too. <laughs> now let it settle, settle, settle a little bit, like a minute or two. 
So let it go, okay? And zoom it in. Okay. Come on. Come on. I want to cut the video. So, I'm going to be back when it boots. Okay? So here it is. Um, this was not hard at all. I just I just set it up. I didn't really do that big thing. Um, camera interface is still the same. So as the other camera interface, except that it's a little smaller right here than Panerai Android. And notifications, you don't get your you gotta set it up by yourself right here you get your interface performance it's kinda different than Cyanjin mode um... the processor you can overclock it I think no no overclocking put it 800 set on boot um... disable boot animation oh it's, it's cool um... seams that's it. That's all we have right now, cause um we we um we we did the thing. Notification power widget. Put the widget buttons. Target brightness. GPS sound. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And they are right there. Also, you can put the order, of course. Brightness location. Show. Oh yeah, finally, son. I wanted this so bad. I couldn't get it in Cyanjin mode, but it's right here. I I I love this. It's kind of like AOKP. I don't know if AOKP even have it. And you also get the hardware keys to customize them. Long press. Let's see if it works right here. Voice key. Put reset subscription. Okay, it doesn't work just like Cyanjin mode. But in here, if you put that recent app switcher, it will work. But I don't know. This won't work at all if you put it right there. Um, display, you could do it. Lock screen, you could customize it, of course. And here you go to general. Where's the battery thing? I, saw, I thought there was a battery. Oh, it's status bar, of course. The transparency. Let's put it 75 percent. I'm oh, I'm just messing with it. Circle mod is the best. I like the circle mod. Battery bar. Put it. Status bar. Yup. And that's it. Notification toggles. Power widget. Oh, so cool. Oh yeah, that's just like in Chimera, son. Just like in Chimera the heck put this still like that I don't really know enable toggles hold on oh these are different oh so cool son what else sound display power manual let's see what they got over here reboot of course, profile switcher, don't care. Status bar toggle. Nah, 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 nah. But there's something missing. Oh, you get tablet UI right here, but there's someone else missing. Forgot what is it. Launcher. What do they have right here? Launcher stuff. 
let's see now I'm gonna test the battery life on it or whatever I'm, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you about CNA and let's go to about phone it's angel 4.1.1 jelly bean and the mod version it's codename Android it's so cool it looks so cool you can, you get to you see your hardware information I don't really know why I even want to see it so see y'all in my next video Wi-Fi everything is working good everything you even get quiet hours which is in everything so right now I'm gonna you gonna restore your stuff of course you gotta restore them you know how to restore them you just go to your store then download titanium backup or ask your file manager if you downloaded it so see you on my next video